Hi class, I'm Dr. Scott Adamson, and we're going to now continue in our series on understanding the idea of limits. And in this third video, we're going to examine the function 1 over x minus 4, that quantity squared. And again, what we want to think about is not what happens at a particular input value of x, but we want to think about what happens nearby the input value of x equals 4. So, again, we want to just highlight, why am I saying it that way? Because if x was equal to 4, 4 minus 4 would be 0, 0 squared would be 0, 1 divided by 0, that is not something we can figure out. It does not exist, that division by 0. So instead, what I want you to think about is, how does this function behave for values of x nearby to 4? So can you imagine this? x is nearby but not equal to 4, like 4.0000001. If you take a number just slightly bigger than 4 and subtract 4, you get a quantity that's really, really, really tiny. Square that really, really, really tiny quantity makes it even smaller. And so as x gets nearby to 4, 1 divided by that result would just blow up to a really, really huge number. Now, likewise, we can think about input values for x nearby to 4, but instead of slightly larger, slightly less than 4, like 3.9999999. So if this value is slightly less than 4, when we subtract 4, it'll produce a negative quantity that's really, really small. Now, a negative quantity squared will produce the positive really, really, really small quantity once again. And so 1 divided by that really, really, really small quantity will again be a very, very large quantity. So here's what we say. The limit as x approaches 4, let's first think about from the right side of 4. For values of 4 just slightly bigger than, values of x slightly larger than 4, we would say this Quantity is slightly more than 4. Subtract 4 is going to give you something very small. Squaring, like a 0 0.0000001, produces an even smaller number. And 1 divided by that very, very, very small number is a very, very large number. So we say that this function has output values that just explode when x is nearby 4, approaching infinity. What about when x is slightly to the left of 4, like 3.99999? And we think about inputting values for x that are nearby 4 to the left of 4. We get a negative result, square it, we get a positive result, but that positive value is really, really, really small. And 1 over that really, really small quantity is, again, a very large quantity. And so the output values just explode, and we say, blow up to infinity. Now let's confirm that using technology. So as we were examining the function f of x equals 1 over x minus 4, that quantity squared, for input values very, 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 very close to 4, we got the hunch that maybe the output values were just blowing up to infinity, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. To confirm these results, look, let's look at a graph, let's look at a table of values and see if we can get some sense of what's happening here. So in this case, we've graphed the function and notice that we have marked off where that x equals 4 um, limit would be. So we want to examine from both the left side and the right side of 4 what's happening to this function. First, let's think about what happens to the output quantities as the input quantities get close to 4 from the left side of 4, like a 3.999. And so as I drag on this graph, we see that as x gets closer to 4, that the output values just seem to zoom off to infinity. And again, we can drag this function down and we can see that exact thing happening. The closer x gets to 4, the bigger and bigger and bigger those output values seem to get. That is likewise happening on the right side of 4. When x gets close, or when the input values get close to 4 from the right side, like a 4.1, a 4.01, a 4.0001, it appears as though the output values also just explode and go off to infinity. We see that in our table as well. Notice in the table when x is uh, increasing from 3.9 to 3.99 to 3.9999, those output values are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. 
Also on the other side, when x is getting closer to 4 from the right side, a 4.1, a 4.01, a 4.001, a 4.0001, we likewise see the output values just exploding, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So from both our thought analysis and from our graph and table, the evidence is pretty clear that as the input to this function gets closer and closer and closer to 4, but not equal to 4, the outputs just explode and go off to infinity. Now let's go back and, and talk about how we're going to record that understanding. So we've now confirmed that for input values nearby to 4, the output values for this rational function just explode, we say approach infinity. So here's how we communicate that finally. We would just say the limit as x approaches 4 of this function 1 over x minus 4 squared because from the left side and the right side they both blow up to positive infinity we can say that the limit here would be infinity. Now the limit doesn't exist in the sense that there's not a finite value that this function is getting closer and closer and closer to. So we don't say it does not exist. I mean, we, we could say it does not exist, but because the limit is blowing up to positive infinity on both sides, we just go ahead and communicate that knowledge. That is, x gets close to four, regardless of its side, positive side or negative side of four, this function just blows up, goes off to infinity.